Hello and welcome to Siebel Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm a KKM Financial. Well, we're looking to VIX Cash basically unchanged on the day, up slightly, right around 1565 currently. Uh, pretty tight range for the week. 1707 on the high side, 1568 for the low side of VIX Cash. So that's a very uh, small range for a week over week kind of comparison. Non farm payrolls this morning, a little disappointing to say the least, but nonetheless, we're not seeing the market give up too much ground with the SPX just down slightly. And when you look at the at the money straddle in the SPX, that's trading around 11.5% implied level, basically unchanged week over week. And the skew factor, uh, when you look at the CBOE skew index, that's 157. Now that's down five points from the close last Friday, but still, when you look at it from a historical perspective, that's a pretty substantial level. So you're still seeing uh, quite a bit of demand for those way out of money puts in the SPX. I want to point out the roll market in the VIX futures, $2.50, so pretty wide as we have about a week and a half before expiration. Uh, we are seeing the entire futures curve shifting higher today, which is interesting. Possibly that weekend effect with Monday being a holiday, propping up the futures market today. I want to point out VVIX, measure implied volatility in the VIX options, a 106 and a half. That's the low end of the range for this week and also low end of the range for the summer. So we're seeing a demand for VIX options coming in a little bit. Now the activity in the VIX options, uh, pretty decent activity headed into the holiday weekend. We're seeing out of the money call spread in September, 2535 uh, call spread trading 13,000 times. Put spread in October, 1720 put spread goes up 15,000 times. And we're looking at December, 20 calls uh, trading about 10,000 times today. Next week, I want to point out, we have a holiday shortened week, but certainly we're moving into September, so there's a few things to point to. Data points are highlighted by PPI ECB meeting next week, later in the week. And I'm also going to have the ghost of September past, as September is typically hasn't been too kind for the equity market, so that could play into the mindset of volatility traders as we move into next week.